Relation of Top Tales Tuesday, even though it's Wednesday. Sorry about that. I was feeling a little under the weather yesterday, but I really wanted to unbox this mail call on camera. So here I am doing Top Tales Tuesday on Wednesday. Yo, that's how we do. Anyway, so Top Tales Tuesday will basically be me going over, you know, the top sales this week on my eBay store, um, the top things in comic books that happened for me, top finds, top hunts, you know, all the good stuff, all the fun stuff. Anyway, so first up, do the Comic Con. Orlando Toy and Comic Con. I almost forgot about it. It was so like three days ago, you know? So, anyways, heart pumping. We'll do some finds. This is the most expensive book that I bought at the Comic Con, and I only paid $10 for it. And I bought it because I sold mine last year, year before last, for eight bucks to a friend. And you know me and my Rocket and my Guardians of the Galaxy and all that stuff, so I gotta have their first new team appearance from the movies, you know. Anyways. Boom. 24. Paid uh, five bucks for this one, which a little overcovered, but still cheaper than some of the LCSs around here were selling it when it came out at $10. So, anyways, the Batgirl 24, which is... The next version of the Batgirl 23, if you can't afford 23, get 24, because there you go, there you have it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Joshua Middleton, oh my god, so much better than Tedesco. Harley Quinn Tedesco. It's okay, I'm just going to continue to say that until y'all realize it. It's okay, yeah, it's nice, but it is not Batgirl 23, y'all. A little bit of Todd McFarlane goodness from the 90s. Spider-Man 1, I pick these up every time I find them. Dollar bin find right there. You can't beat it. Next up, we got... Kitty Pride and Wolverine. I love this cover. I don't know why, but I just do. It's iconic to me for some reason that I don't even know because I've never read it, but now I own it. I actually have the, the True Believers version of it, the little dollar issue that your company, get your LCS gets every now and again. Boom. This one is like the first appearance of the time and the power gem, I believe, or something like that. Anyway, shout out Nick over at Key Collector Comics. I would pull it up on my phone right now, but right now I got that chilled cow, lo-fi hip-hop going for the fam in the background, you know. You know how I do. What else do we got up here for you? What? This was that, uh, that key that hit the hot, hot list not too long ago, like the Fallen one or something like that. First appearance of the Fallen one, Thanos 11. And I believe Donnie Cates picked up this story after issue 12, so 13. Would be the first one Donny Cates did, maybe? I could be wrong on the timeline there. This one, come on y'all, help me out. The permanent marker on it. Is it possible to lighten it? Is it possible to get it off? I, I know that people have tried, I'm sure. I don't wanna mess it up. I bought this one for myself personally. I got it for two bucks because of that. But other than that, dude, this thing is freaking gorgeous. There's like three spine ticks on it and they're not like, they're not even all the way around the spine. They're just on the top part of the spine, so. Dude, this thing, white pages, gorgeous, Blade, Morbius, movie coming up, so why not? Why not buy it, you know? Yo, Golden Age Guru, what up, homie? Dude, I can't afford Golden Age Matt Baker. Thank you for cursing me with the knowledge of Matt Baker. So, I buy every fiction house, anything that I can find that is affordable. So, right here, I got Golden Age Greats, Volume 9. It's like a collection of a bunch of books from way back then. And one of the artists is Matt Baker. And I've also learned that a bunch of these old Golden Age books have like um, multiple stories in them. So they've got like four, five, six even sometimes stories in them. So just because Matt Baker's not on the cover doesn't mean that he didn't do a book inside a book. So I don't know, man. Check them out. They're pretty cool. I like them. I really enjoy them. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Russ, for bringing some Golden Age knowledge to this little comic corner over here in my... Smurfville, USA. Next up, I got what? Count on one and two copies of The Immortal Hope. And this would be the first appearance of Dr. Fry, which everybody knows because this book's blowing up right now. One of them actually needs to get like shipped yesterday, pretty much, but I was feeling like crap. So, eBay person that bought this book, thank you for your money, and your book will leave today. So, boom, there you have it. Cover price, y'all. Cover price. But the only reason I got these for cover price really is because. The LCS that I, I go to a good bit, 9.9 .9 Comics, he was there, and one of his customers that I see regularly on Wednesdays there, he actually did his first booth at a Comic-Con, at that Comic-Con, so he had a bunch of books up for cheap, 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 so of course I went up and snatched those two, and the next one's on my list, dude, I got both of these for 15 bucks. I got the Direct Edition 
and the UPC. And dude, these things are gorgeous. I don't know what everybody's problem is with Mockingbird and why these haven't gone up anymore. But eventually she will be in a movie. Amazing green cover, dude. I love that green and then the purple at the bottom, dude. Spider-Man's all like twisted back almost like you would see Todd McFarlane draw him, you know. But this is pre-Todd. Anyways, there's those. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And last up, I got one Silver Age book. This is the first appearance of the Man Ape, I believe, Mighty Avengers 62. It's a pretty dope book. Got it for the cheap, under $10, so why not give it a shot? I'm saying there's some wear and tear around the edges, you know, where people flip the pages, but all in all, like, the interior pages on this thing are pretty white for an old book like this. And, man, I really love these plastic mylar bags. Oh, shout out, dude. Bueller, congratulations on uh, maxprosupplies.com being your comic book uh supplies dealer person supply supplier <laughs> however you said that ryan you are absolutely right he needs to find something other than supply supplier <laughs> so um next up <clears throat> i was just looking at my youtube yesterday and uh i'm already up to 60 subs so we're inching up on that 100 real close real close and since it is the way it is now that whenever you hit 100 subs you do a giveaway so i thought that i would recruit all the first people to follow me to since you guys are probably the only ones watching these videos why don't you dang go in the comments below after you hit the like button of course and then vote on what kind of book you want the giveaway book to be and i'll give you some a couple little teasers of what could possibly come as your giveaway for the 100 subscriber giveaway first up because they're making a movie and everything greg capullo cover gorgeous i've got a few copies of it it will not hurt me to give this one away. So if you want like a new uh, top 10 list kind of book for the giveaway, vote for Reborn. Up next we got, <laughs> dude, this came in. Literally, I got the message on my phone. I got to the convention at about 9. It started at 10. So I got there a little early and I got the message at like 9.15 that this book arrived on my doorstep. And the only reason I bought it was to get it signed by Donny Cates. Dude, this thing is gorgeous. It's like pristine condition, first appearance of Sidorak. So, if that would be a good giveaway book, vote for that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still a little out of it today. I'm not feeling too great. I'm trying to be as chipper as possible. Next up, we got Amazing Spider-Man 529. This is the one I would pick for a giveaway anyways. Just saying. It's the first appearance of Iron Spider. If you love Infinity War and all things MCU right now, this would be the book for you. Just leave a little vote. So you've got, so far, Reborn number one. Doctor Strange number 44. First Sitter Act. And then Amazing Spider-Man 529. And then last but not least, just because this is an amazing series that's out and because i know there are certain people out there that do like variants this is the one in 25 clayton crane incentive variant for uh immortal hulk number one dude this cover dude he looks so savage in that i love the alex ross covers too by the way they're my favorite so far on this run i've been picking it up since the beginning but dude this i like Cl i like clayton crane man you'll see him on my channel a bunch i've got a bunch of his artwork but his covers dude they just there's something about them man they've got so much life and energy to them Definitely enjoying them. So, Reborn, Doctor Strange 44, ASM 529, or Immortal Hulk number 1, 1 in 25. You guys, when I hit 100 subs, it's all because of you guys, so y'all get to pick your giveaway. Anyways, thank you so much to all the new subscribers. Thank you for spreading the love. Thank you for sharing my stuff. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to try to bring you guys the best content on a regular basis without being late all the time. That seems to be a thing on YouTubers. YouTubers are a little late a lot of the times, but you know, you do what you gotta do, right? So, uh, I had a whole thing scheduled and scripted and all that good stuff, so I'm gonna try to stick with it, but probably won't. Next up, we got sales. Yo, sales, 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 sales. What's up? Hunting books is probably one of my, for the specific purpose of flipping them. It's probably one of like the most exciting parts of comic books other than reading them. Dude, it's just so much fun going to like a little thrift store, a little dirt mall, a little antique mall, some dude's garage, uh, add on Craigslist. It doesn't matter where you're searching, man. When you're hunting through these books, just flipping through long boxes, man, and you come across that first appearance or that something, dude, it just, or that character that you've been looking for for so long and you got him now, dude, it's just like the adrenaline, the 
the happiness, the endorphins, whatever that stuff is that makes you happy, dude. That stuff is so great. And I'm loving it, dude. Comic fam, hunting books, flipping books, first sales up this week. We got, um, oh, first, first flip. I paid cover price for that Immortal Hulk number two that I showed y'all earlier with that Alex Ross goodness. And already flipped that one on eBay for 38 bucks. It's a nice little profit if you ask me. I still got one more, you know. After that one came up. Yeah, dude, that Immortal Hulk 2 is like a triple threat, man. It's got like the, it's got a great cover artist, Alex Ross. It's got amazing interior art, great story, fire story arc, and a first appearance. So, Immortal Hulk number two is gonna continue to go up. And then um, the last book I sold, I don't have it with me, so I'm gonna try to be like and like make it pop up like Tom used to do with sliding a bag on his comics after he took off a sticker or something or pressed it, you know? So, voila, <laughs> if it didn't work, voila, teach me how, Tom. <laughs> Anyways, um, Teen Titans, the Tales of the New Teen Titans number two. Mine was a first Deathstroke, it was a reader copy, it had tape on it, beat up, you know, but I put it up on eBay and it was worth 55 bucks to somebody and I found that thing in a dollar bin a year ago, so. That's the way it goes. What? So I showed you the finds from the comic convention. Oh, that chill cow, man. Gotta love that hip hop. What's up? So I showed you the finds. Now comes the signatures. The line was absolutely worth it. Anybody that wants to use that Geek Responsibly clip with Don and Kate saying it, feel free to, man. That's for the comic fam. I just, man, dude, I was so stoked. It was awesome. Anyways. This is the one I'm most excited about. This is the one I'm gonna keep. This was Ghost Fleet. I had him sign the inside cover. It only came in trade. Such a great story, dude. These dudes are savages. I just love the artwork in this, man. Next step, boom. Double signature, let's see if you can see it. Oh yeah. Stegman and Cates, Venom 3. Stegman and Cates. Venom 3, so that's two copies of cover A. And then, I don't know how this one slid by, but only Stegman signed this one. This is the third print variant of Venom 3. This one could possibly be a future giveaway, I don't know, we'll see. I don't really do too much with blank sketches, and I'm not going to stand in line just for a drawing. Whenever I could have so many talented Instagram artists, I could just mail them my book, they'll draw it on it, I'll send them some money, and be done with it, so... Anyways, this one's signed by Kate, signed by Stegman, still room to draw. Boom! Look at that, dude! This fourth print cover, man, is by far my favorite cover on God Country, dude. And now, I got it signed. Didn't have a red pen, sorry guys. Left it here on the table with my Invincible that I was gonna have Otley signed, dude. That Invincible 50 would have been so epic. This one, Thanos 13, I only got the second print signed because of the fact that when I was standing in line for Stegman, I was standing there for a long time. And then all of a sudden, a younger girl, probably in her early teens, and her mom came and stood on the wall next to us. And I was like, oh, what's what's going on here? And they're like, oh, we're lining up for Donny Cates. And I was like, well, shoot. I kind of just want more Donny Cates signatures than I do Stegman's. So I think I'm just gonna hop in that line now, even though I've waited this long. And the mom was like, oh, well, I'll, I'll hold your spot in this line. You just give me the books. Anyways. She did that for me. It ended up working out, so I just we all went up at once and then in a line and just passed the books down and I got more signed than I even paid for. But so because she was so willing to just hop out of line and hold me hold a spot for me, I gave her her daughter was a big Cosmic Ghost Rider fan and she had number one, the Prio variant, which is freaking phenomenal by the way. So I asked her if she had his first appearance and she didn't, so I gave her Comic Book Karma, my first print. Thanos 13, first appearance Cosmic Ghost Rider with the lenticular cover. And dude, it made her day. Which, dude, it made my day just being able to get these signatures. So I've got the second print. I love that cover. It's got Cosmic Ghost Rider. It's got King Thanos sitting up there. Dude, epic. And then this one actually just sold as well on eBay. This was the very first signed copy of the Bernie Wrightson cover by Donnie Cates on eBay after the book came out. So boom, there it is, already sold. What's up, Comics Nerf, it's your boy. Y'all know what time it is now, you get to see the signatures, you get to see the finds, you get to hear some sales, all that good stuff. But what, what I'm so excited about, 
about here. And I was gonna do like a little news tip, tidbit on like, you know, the latest uh, fan theory of the Infinity War movie, which is that in the beginning line of Infinity War, Josh Brolin let slip that Thanos basically explained how to beat him or whatever, to my understanding. So, basically the ones that don't run from their destiny or dread their destiny are going to be the ones key to defeating him, which which makes sense in like common sense wise, because if you don't run from your destiny and you don't dread it and you just go for it, you're going to end up in the fight with Thanos, so it would make sense that that would happen, but it doesn't bring into play Captain Marvel and a couple other characters. Like I don't think Peter Parker ran from his destiny or dreaded his destiny. He was like eager to jump to it, so I don't know. That was just a fan theory, whatever. I was going to try to give you all a little bit of modern news and whatnot. I'm going to try to be as quiet as possible with this paper here, dude. I already feel a hardcover. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Russ, Ryan, Aaron, Slav, Jeff, all y'all over there up on the left coast, man. That's my peeps over there. Always giving us good stuff. They're the reason I'm coming at you in 1080p right now. These guys are amazing, man. The product they supply, absolutely incredible. I personally get two, one for each shipment of the mail call, just because of the great stuff they bring, sorry. Boom, all right. Nice and safe though, dude. My package always makes it nice and safe, dude. Never no rustling around, no shibbity shibbity shake and stuff. Anyways, dude, first off, what do we got? Boom, nice. I was jealous whenever John opened his on camera. Now I got one, the hardcover, official handbook of the Marvel Universe. Dude, this is gonna be awesome, Charlie Kate. I'm so excited about this one too. Yes. Black bag service, baby. You know, only the best for the fam. Them boys of the Geek, Geek Street crew know how to take care of us, y'all. First up, RLJ3 Visions. Dude, this thing. Fantastic. I've already got one on my wall over there. Boom, already laminated nice and safe. We'll save that one. We got some Captain America 225. And because I'm opening this like right in front of y'all, I didn't get to go over and look and see what all which books are. So if you know the keys, please leave a comment below. Save me some time. If not, dude, Nick, your app is the best. Key collector. I'll find them in no time. Some old Supergirl, dude. 15 cent cover. What? Adventure Comics presents the new Supergirl. Number 399. What are cop outs selling for these days, Johnny? <laughs> then we got Phoenix Resurrection 5. Return of Jean Grey, y'all. What's up? Rosenberg, you, Bennett. What's up? Boom. Invincible Iron Man 12. Civil War 2. Stark. Dude, that's a dope cover, though. There's some Bendis goodness for Ryan. You know. There's the mail call, y'all. Loving the hardcover. Loving the prints. I can't wait to find out what keys these are, because they normally throw in a minor key or a major key. You never know. I did not get the ASM 129, so there is a lucky person out there that did, dude. But next month is going to be that fire. That fire. Incredible. Oh, 181, dude. First Wolverine, y'all. Comic Tom, Geek Streak 101 Mail Call. Get it. If you have not got it yet, you need to, dude. It's your boy, Comic Smurf. Top Tales Tuesday on a Wednesday, because I'm lazy and sick yesterday. Anyways, I'm out of here, y'all. 